So, next up, it's my honor to welcome Jorvan Moss to stage. Commonly known as Ajay, Jorvan Moss is an accomplished maker best known for his robotic oddities. Uh, Jay's art background includes a BFA in illustration and self-taught electronic skills that have been combined to help launch his career and promote the wonderful world of STEAM. And I'll turn it over to you. Do I, I think I clicked the wrong way. I have no idea. Oh. Well, hi, I'm Jay, your favorite oddity, and I build robots. Um, don't know where I'm supposed to be clicking. I apologize for that. Oh, yeah, I think I clicked the wrong thing. I'm somewhere else now. As you can see, I'm very bad with technology, so. <laughs> no, that is not it. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Technical difficulties. Yes, there we go. Thank you. So hi, I'm once again, I'm Jay, uh, and I build fun robots, um, pet robots, robots you can take with you places and things like that. And I usually call it the illusion of life. It's a concept I got from art school where you make your robots very lifelike and the human brain does the rest. So more about me. Um, I probably should not talk more about me. I'm not that important. My work is more important than I am. Um, but I went to art school, I have an art degree, and I've been professionally making it since 2019. So humanoid robots have been around a lot recently. It's all you see when it comes to robots right now. At least the best in robotics are all humanoid robots, which are great. We all want to have humanoid robots. We want to be able to you know, fit the, the frame of warehouse workers and things like that. Great, fully cool. Um, but I'm not going to focus too much on humanoid robots. I'm going to focus on biomimicry, because those are my favorite type of robots. Robots are based on nature and animals and things like that. Or like my robot pet here, Digit, on my shoulder, um, a giant bug. <laughs> So a lot of robots like that have already been made. They're very well designed, and you see them a lot on TV. Kids love them, and they're great. But yet, these type of robots make people uncomfortable. And I actually took some time and figured out why. There's no face. Humans need faces. Without faces, robots become creepy. So this is um, Digit's prototypes. I've been working on this robot for literally five weeks. Um, it would have been faster, but I had to sleep. I apologize. Um, and with this, you can see the evolutionary design from the far left with my prototype, and then it moved over to the right and to the current one. And during this development, I learned that having a better eye system actually gets more people liking it and paying attention to it compared to just using a giant LED. Uh, human interaction is very important for this, too, because I go around places, I go to events, people are always asking what it is, what does it do, so I go to my favorite coffee shops, I go to whatever events that I get invited to, and this is my shadow now, it goes wherever I go. Uh, so, part of my art background was the illusion of life. This is actually from our textbook where they try to teach you how to animate lifelike motion. And that same concept can be used for your robotics projects. Um, so this is one of my favorite programming methods, uh, random delay. Um, you'll see it in Python, you see it in C++, you see it in all of my code. Currently, even with Digit, has a lot of random delay movements, where it just moves randomly, but thanks to the human brain, we see it and we think, oh, it's doing this, it's doing that, it's doing this magical thing. No, it's just moving randomly, but technically everyone moves randomly if you think about it too much. Uh, so the motion is very important, you know, random motion, leave it with digital, the antenna moves, make it really right. Um, and then interaction is pretty important too. If you can add interaction to your robots, I personally love adding a little bit of like a sensor, a camera, anything that can definitely give that like, oh, it's actually interacting with the real world type of vibe. Um, design what's fun, which is very important. This is actually um, a photo shoot I did with one of my favorite robots known as Binary. Binary has a huge head. It's actually very wally esque it, and all it does is blow bubbles. That is its full design. Like Rick and Morty, what's your purpose? Its purpose is to blow bubbles. <laughs> and it's the perfect um, concept when it comes to design because it has random movement, it makes it seem like alive, and all it does is just rolls around, blows bubbles. Nothing important, but just from that small motion, it brings tons of joy. And that's about it. Thank you for coming my luck. <laughs> 